It's definitely my job to try. Um, so that's what we're up to. Um, there's about 400 acres on property here, and all of our mammals are of African descent. So that's where the African safari thing comes in today. Get a picture uh, of the so two that's kissing. Why I can't dance all. all right, looks like the rest of the group is here. Stalling for a second. I'm gonna go collect. They're so lucky they have water. As far as the girls go. All right, so over here on this pond, they live all in their face when they walk. And that's because they're adapted for diving. So. You might recognize this bird. Maybe not. Maybe. I do. Kind of. Okay, rewatch the new Lion King. They have a couple. Uh, only forty kinds from cartoons can shoot their older lady. Um, so in the winter, this male make his call a little bit later. It's like a woo woo, and it's really loud. It's so loud you can actually hear it out on drive, which is incredible. Um, but this little tiny animal right here with those little tiny horns there is called the blue bear. It ranges from about eight to ten pounds. Right, how do they coexist together? That's a pretty bad idea. Um, they're not the best climate. Uh, they're native to dense, Hello? dark jungles in Africa. Um, and in their natural environment, they only ever really hang out really high into the trees and like in those canopies, kind of like a half pet. Cheetahs have claws that are always out, just like a dog. Um, and that's to be able to grip the ground while they run. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's just an older lady. Yeah, she doesn't really like to walk too much. She's, she's a 23 years old, I think. Um, high teens typically, so she is older. Um, so we're looking at some giraffe over here. Hi. She's so cute. All right. We're going to get entirely sure what the common use is now. Potatoes over here, the reason why I mentioned trying to catch them today is when it gets really hot like it has been today, um, they tend to not be out. They really like their barn. Um, <laughs> so I'm grateful that they're out for you guys today, but um, we're looking at, you just make me laugh. Um, Beautiful. Oh, there's 
these are gazelles. She's using her head as a shovel. Do you guys see that? Hi, Astrid. She's looking directly at us right now. And mom is the one that's like parallel to the truck right now. They will never charge, will they? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a warning. I don't even know what zebra it was. I closed my eyes when it happened. What? Our friend is here again. She just comes out of nowhere. Hi, Astrid. Okay. are the only animal on property that is domesticated and considered a breed. Um, so this is our herd of Watusi cattle here. Unfortunately, their horns are not naturally occurring. Um, we did, um, you know, in general, through generations and like lifetimes and history, uh, bred these cows to be amazingly cool with their horns. Um, and they have longer horns than the Texas Longhorn does. So they hold the record from longest length from tip to tip, which is 12, or not 12, 10 feet long, I bet. What? Ten them as defense. For blood flow to move through it. How heavy are those legs? Roughly, it's like having two gigantic horns on either, or not horns, <laughs> legs on either side of your, bot, your head. No way. So two massive legs just like push. Yep, another little cow. We have so much. Oh. Hi, itty bitty. This is our youngest cow here. Little boy. Yeah. Hi. Hi. He wants to avoid us. Yep. 